Hello everyone, welcome back to episode number 2 of this playlist which is named as Journey of a Dress. So in my previous episode I showed you the bottom cord which was being aligned from rightmost tower to the leftmost tower through suspenders and main cables. But after 12 to 13 days, now I can see that both the bottom cords as you can also see are aligned in their exact position. Also little pre-cambering on the upward side, you can see that uh, that, hog in the that hog in the center of this entire span is being visible. So currently the top cord, first top cord member is being positioned, you can see by a zoom section, no heavy equipment, no crane is utilized in the construction of this very truss, only manual physical labor by making use of pulleys, chains as well as cables is being used. So you just see the pace of the work but what uh, another aspect that I need to highlight is that I cannot see any safety nets because you see if any of this worker despite of their tremendous experience and courage falls from this very girder definitely he'll be severely injured and may lead to uh, loss, or loss of life as well. So the contractors and the provisions and the supervisors must ensure that at least safety nets or the safety means for all workers should be present at all construction sites. Although this truss is taking shape, it will help the local people. You can see that two of the two wheelers are again stuck because they have to cross the stream and in the absence of this whole bridge, they are facing difficulties. Keeping all the things in view, Although the truss will take shape, but uh, the safety features should not be ignored because every life matters. And currently, just see how people are actually aligning the top part first member with the end breaker, the diagonals and also two verticals are also being in place. So before this whole structure takes shape of an open web girder, this is currently resembling more or less like a suspension bridge in which the main cables are supporting the vertical suspender cables which is further supporting the bottom cord at different positions. So yes, that's all in this episode. Do check out at the end of the episode the picture from the above, from the top, near the tower. I'll add it in the end of the episode. And in my next episode, let's see, let's hope that this entire system is actually successfully being moved from point the uh, right point from the right towers to the left towers and then only you will be able to see the connection details. Now they are lightly bolting the members as they are aligned in the positions but once this entire system is complete they will be bolting it again and at that time we will be able to see more and more connection details. So I will show you that shear studs are also being placed on the cross beams. I saw it from the above and in the end of the episode you will be seeing that picture in which shear studs in the form of C-shaped shear studs on the cross beams are also aligned. So yes, it's a good progress in last 10 to 12 days. Let's hope that it takes shape very soon.